story time. What's going on, guys? I just got done filming a couple videos, and I was looking around, around my room about to break the camera down, and I saw this thing, and I figured it would be a good opportunity to um, kind of give you the backstory to, uh, to this legend, this absolute trooper of a chatterbait. So, for those of you that don't know, this is a Z-Man original, I don't know if you can see that, original chatterbait. There it is. Z-Man original chatterbait. Um, and this thing has quite the story behind it. This is the first chatterbait that I ever bought. And it's been with me for about two years now. And it has been tied on the same, I shouldn't say the same rod, but it has been tied on and on the deck of my boat every trip I've gone out for past year and a half to two years this has been on a rod ready to go on the deck of my boat this exact chatterbait and uh like i said first chatterbait i ever bought when i got seriously back into bass fishing about two years ago right at the, right at the beginning of covid i saw everyone on youtube was throwing chatterbaits and i had never used them before so you know i went to dick's and i picked this one up for i believe four dollars and uh, I slapped a Strike King Rage Swimmer on the back of it and went to town. And once you figure out how to fish a chatterbait, the retrieve, you know, when it gets hung up in the grass, you give it a rip and just keep, keep it going, keep it thumping. And um, the amount of fish I was catching was mind-blowing. And, you know, you could throw this, this chatterbait where you can't throw a lot of other baits. It's surprisingly weedless for the fact that it does not have a weed guard. It's because the blade kind of blocks all the weeds. So um, a lot of the, if you if you watch my fishing videos, you see that a lot of the, the lakes that I fish have a ton of grass. So it's kind of a game changer fishing a moving bait through the grass like that. So I was, you know, hooking up on a lot of fish. And uh, this particular chatterbait, like I said, it was tied on for every trip for about a year and a half, two years. It has caught me about, probably 75 bass or so and maybe two dozen pickerel and uh, most notably a 10 and a half pound pike about 40 inches um so it's kind of a miracle that this thing hasn't been bitten off or uh snagged up and broken off or anything like that it's been with me a while and it is an absolute trooper so i just want to show you guys the damage i mean you saw the blade when i showed you the the original chatterbait but blades all chipped up from fishing it through brush and rocks the head the lead is all dented up from when i smacked it off the trolling motor on a cast paint's all chipped off skirt is half gone from being bitten by pickerel this thing has just seen war and uh i figured it deserved a retirement you know, I could realistically, I could probably go out and catch fish with it, but you know, at this point, you know, it's still chipping off there. Um, it's not as shiny, you know, you don't have the shine from the, the paint on the blade. It probably runs all wonky from the flat part on the lead. And I don't know how much more action the skirt has left in it, but um, I figured a newer chatterbait would probably serve me a little better. But I gotta tell you, this thing, has been an absolute trooper. And if you haven't tried a chatterbait yet, go out and just get yourself an original chatterbait. They work insanely well. They catch fish. Um, if you're wondering, I have a hog farmer spunk shed on the back of here. Um, it's also bitten up. The, the tail's gone. Z-Man makes an awesome product. Um, for $4, this is probably the best value in terms of fish caught to dollars spent. I couldn't be happier with a fishing lure honestly and uh this one holds a special place in my heart so i think that's gonna do it for this little uh three four minute story time i don't know how long i blabbered on before but it felt like three or four minutes so this is gonna go hang back up somewhere um so i can be sentimental over it thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video because this is a very impromptu thing drop a comment give me any suggestions that you have so uh, thank you guys. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.